You know what I've learned in the classroom? Sometimes when I don't ramble, and when I'm really direct and to the point, people learn better. What I'm going to do for you today, in as few words as possible, is show you my rock tumbler formula. You see, I found these chains at Dead Horse Bay a few months ago, and they've just been sitting there, but it's time to tumble tonight. Hi everybody, I'm doing a quick video tonight, and I'm going to be uh, cleaning two chains that I found at Dead Horse Bay. This is one of them, and uh, this is the other one. I have higher hopes for this one. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because the colors of metals there are so mysterious. These were brown. I'm going to see if I could dig up a picture of uh, how these used to look like. But they turned out to be silver. And um, I, I want to see if we could get the, uh, the same results with this. Even though they have a green patina, which means they're made of copper. So uh, I'm going to uh, tumble it. That's how I got the results on this. Um, first thing that I suggest is that you make this the only things that you put in. So I'm going to do that. Now, interesting point on this. You don't want to mix your coppers with your silvers and so forth, uh, or even clad. Like, if you do pennies, you do them separate from nickels, dimes, quarters, uh, just the color of the coin. If you put pennies in there, it can affect, it, it can make those uh, silvery coins even more uh, coppery. So make sure that you separate the type of metal. That's why I'm putting them in alone. Next, you want to get some uh, fish tank gravel and throw that in. Got it filled up about quarter of the way and it's, uh, it's under the rocks now. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this up about to the point where it's just over the rocks. Now I'm going to take some vinegar. Perhaps I should measure. I'd say you give maybe 75% of the amount of water. Salt. Now this is the magic ingredient. It's called CLR. It stands for calcium, lime, and rust. And it's a cleaner. And you don't want to leave it too in. Yeah, I'm giving this maybe 30 minutes of tumbling. I'm going to check on it. And I could always give it more time. But you want to put maybe a little more than a capful in. There we go. This is how I cook too, you know, just, I guess I winged the ingredients, but it's worked. Next, dish soap. Two squirts will do. Then you seal it up and you give it a shake and then you put it on the tumbler. And away she goes. Tumble, 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 tumble. 521, if my ADHD doesn't flare up, I will be back at 551. Oops. All right, I got my toothbrush ready here, and uh, let's see what we got. Well, here's the finished product. It looks a lot better than it did before. I'll give you even better close-ups. Well, you could tell one is silver and uh, one is copper, um, but you know it gave the um, it gave its true color back. So you know you can't make gold out of copper, but uh, this is uh, this is an improvement. So that is my formula for uh, tumbling uh, materials in a rock tumbler. Um, I've had some good results with it, and uh, you can judge for it yourself. This is the before, and this is the after. Thank you for watching.